What's going on guys, Manic Badger here, and welcome to another episode of our Liverpool career mode. Now, I've had a little bit of a think, and I think what I'm going to do until FIFA 15 comes out, and hopefully I'll be able to get the uh, next-gen console, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick to this one game mode. I'm going to put Rotoruin on the back burner for now. I think that'll be a lot more exciting when the new Ultimate Team comes out. And uh, I think with the start of the Premier League season, career mode's something I really enjoy at the moment. So I'm just going to do that and hopefully upload one, one per day if I can. Um, I'll try my best and we'll see how we get on. So what I wanted to show you is uh, the squad that we're going into the next game with. We're going to play Origi, I think that's how you say it, um, as a striker. We're going to play Sterling at camp. Our uh, regen player Pauletta out on the left. Markovic is making his debut on the right with Allen and Khan holding it in midfield. We've still got Sissoko, he's still not left the club on the left. We've got Skirts on the Aga and the new boy Mankilo starting on the right hand side and the uh, goalkeeper Jones. Also, for our transfers, go that way. So, for my shortlist, this is what we've got so far. I found this guy just by looking on for, for a sort of striker. I think that's what we need. Um, we're going to scout him a little bit more. Um, but he's also he's been offered for loan. He's very small, but he looks very good sort of technically. Physical strength, obviously very quick. Um, maybe a, a good little player to play. Um, if Origi's going to prove, we'll see what he's like in the next game. If he's going to be quite a unit in sort of that Ricky Lambert type of role that we're looking for, then um, maybe Eunice will be quite a good sort of sub as a Sturridge sort of replacement um, when Sturridge isn't. But Sturridge is going to be our main striker. Here's another player that we're busy scouting. He's 20 years old, Adam Ilson. Well, what? Adam Ilson, we'll go for that. Um, but he, so far, it doesn't show on there, but his stats look quite good, actually. The only thing about Rossi um, is his age. Um, I think he's a little bit too old, so what we're going to do is I'm going to remove him from shortlist. I don't think I'll enjoy playing with Rossi um, as much as sort of maybe a, one of the younger players like uh, Adam Ilsen or Eunice. I think they've got sort of more time to grow. So, also, um, maybe we should need to search because Liverpool just confirmed today that they've signed uh, Alberto Moreno, the left back. The left back Moreno from Sevilla. So we're gonna search for him and see if we can bring him in. And hopefully if we can swap maybe Sissoko for him that will mean that, you know, yeah, there he is, Alberto Moreno, um, we're going to approach to buy, and we're just going to straight up offer, where is Sissoko, there he is, Sissoko, and hopefully they'll think that's enough. Uh, he's got high wages though, 60,000 per week, he's only 22, and I don't think, you know, I didn't, I haven't actually heard of him, but maybe... We'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's go into this cup game. So we already do lead 2-0. Um, it's kind of going to be like a friendly for me. Uh, it's just basically to test out our players, see what Origi's got, see what Markovic is like, try and see if Mankilo can play um, a good position in that right mid, um, right back, sorry, for us. And uh, yeah, I'm quite excited. First leg score 2-0. Let's see if we can finish off the qualification for Europe as we go to Anfield. Oh no, Jones. Oh, I can clear it. Oh, I keep passing the ball out so stupidly. Oh. That's all my fault. I couldn't tackle him. I passed right to him. Okay, Markovic. Got into space. Let's see a shot. Markovic! Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. So, in other news, the Premier League started today on Saturday, the uh, 16th of August. And uh, Man United lost. Which I was really surprised about. And honestly, I know I've got a few friends that are Man United fans. And I normally give them quite a lot of stick. But 
I think that uh, I don't think they'd give the same if it was Liverpool who were going through difficulties, but they are, they they need a little bit of time to grow, and I think that Van Gaal is the right person to do it. Um, but I just I'm not sure about the quality and the and the depth of the squad. I think they need some really a couple of really big name players. If they can get Vidal, I don't think it'll happen. Um, but I hope they prove me wrong and they they get Vidal. Little Rigi, go Sterling, use your pace. Go on, son. Go on, son. Cross it in. Who's in? Ah! Oh. Mankilo's played good so far. Let's see if he can make a good run down this side and whip a good cross in. Wow, that centre back's quick. I think he's going to catch me. Whip it in now. Oh, Origi! Oh! Half time! Oh, no! Okay. We gave them the lead, but we need to bring it back through. Oh, Origi gets a chance. Let's have a shot. Oh, what a goal! Let's go! On his debut, the big man. All the way from Belgium. 19 years old. That was a good tackle. Nice little touch. Sets himself up. And shoots it into that far corner. Before that. Right. So here they come, we're bringing off Pauletta, change of formation, bringing on Hindo, let's see what he can do. We're playing Sterling up front, Origi on the left, and we're going to put, oh good, Brad Jones, he's a terrible keeper. Oh, Henderson, Origi, Markovic, nice, let's go, use your pace, shoot, oh the deflection and it's in, Markovic scores on his debut. Two debut goals, one for Markovic, I know it was a little bit cheesy and it came off a deflection, but you know what, sometimes th that happens in football, that that's, uh, that would have been well wide if uh, they didn't take that deflection, but you know what, 2-1, 5 minutes left, debut goal for Origi, debut goal for Markovic, we'll have that, go on Origi. Come back inside. Let's have a shot. Oh! Here they come. So come off for Flanagan on. And Samad Yesil, the young striker, on for Sterling. Just to see out the. There it is. Get the win. Two debut goals. Stupid conceded one. But we, we deserved that. We had more shots on target. We, ru we ruled the game, basically. Okay, 2.4 million for Adam Nielsen. I mean, he's got that something special, so maybe it'll be worth it for... Let's go 2 million. Or maybe we can swap somebody. Who do we need to get rid of? We need to get rid of Moses. Can we swap you for Moses? Will you take Moses? Sevilla wants 8 million plus Sissoko. Well, 9.5. Oh, is it worth it? Let's go 5. I don't know how much he signed for in real life, actually. It could have been a fair bit. Exciting times, guys. We. we our scouts in the process of uh, get, looking at getting us a new striker. Adam Nielsen, Christov, Christovia, Kozlov, Yunus, and Adam Nielsen. This could be really exciting times, and obviously we're going to try to get Moreno as well. Um, but I'm going to leave that here for the second episode, and the next one is going to be huge. Big game against Chelsea, and then we've got one month left until the uh, transfer deadline so uh, if you guys like the video if you just want me to stick at it let's see if we can get one um, one view well one upload a day um, that'd be pretty cool all right guys until next time peace